Welcome back to another episode of Amphibious Detecting. Today we're going to go out with my buddy Mike, Gino, I think Gary gets in on the hunt, but we're going to do some big coil searching. So see if we can't find some deep targets. Let's see how we make out. It is a bit easy. All right, we're on a run. I move this. It's getting a pretty nice peep down here. It's not really consistent, but that's okay. That's it. Oh, so we got ourselves a crotal bell fragment. Sweet. Look how deep that was. More than the pinpointer. Still picking it up. That's why we're out here fishing for deep stuff. So this is a deep 1213 nickel signal. Right here. Pull out some material. Okay, I think it's in my hand. Alright, what do we got here? There's something. Looks like it's some kind of button. I don't think it's a coin, I think it's a button. You're looking at it right now. Nope. Got some? Like oh lock. yeah! That's a lock, all right. Gary's got himself a lock. It's one of the that thing looked pretty good. Sweet. Good find, man. Those are hard to come up because they're iron. Clear as can be. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a broken copper, or cut copper. That's broken. Not a fresh break though, thankfully. Matron, 1825. Nice. Yeah, got some deeds on there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Boy, that is an old break. Yeah. Nice, yeah, it sounded off beautifully. That's actually a decent target. I mean, it's not great, great, but it's good. Yep. Kind of a bouncy 20 to 23. Oh yeah. Clear as a bell. Let's see what we got. Nice and deep. <laughs> Pinpointer deep with soft soil. Oh, look at that. A deep shoe buckle frame. Oh, 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 yes. That's awesome. Does that match that other one you got? This is a lot smaller. It's the oh. same design, though. That's a nice one. That's 17 hertz. Sweet. Nice. That's what we want. <laughs> look at that. Cool. Kind of a 50s, 60s target right here. Using the big 11 inch coil for the dais today. Trying to get a little bit better depth. Still running a fast program. So we'll see if we can get some smaller targets. Huh. What's this? Looks like a, could be a button. Broken button if it is. Okay. I don't know about this target, but the way the ground is around this joint, could be anything. All right, let's pull out some material. I think this is it right here. It's a round iron thing. I don't think there's anything in it, but it's a little case. This sounds like two signals, one here, and an iron signal there. So I think what I'm gonna do is pop a little bit up off to this side. What is this thing? That almost looks like a jaw harp that's completely caved in, but it's an iron one. I don't know if I've ever seen an iron jaw harp. I suppose such a thing could exist. So these are what Gary found today. Gary got himself a coin. There's gonna be details on it. I just, I can't make it out right now. 
You know what? It's a Hibernia. Yeah, we'll the harp see. is the harp is right there. I can see the harp. My first coin. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's first coin. There it is. Harp with the uh, crown on top. Probably a shotgun shell. Kind of a chunky signal here. Just kind of gonna cut a plug. Okay, uh, it's it's a higher tone, but it's kind of a chunker. Off in this direction. Do one of these. Okay, what do we got here? It is a fatty. Looks like a fatty Indian. Sweet. I'm gonna maybe hold off on cleaning this thing up till I get home. All right, I had just the tiniest little signal here. It sounded like another 22. But I see, I think it's a little button. No, I'm thinking button missing shank, flatty. Awesome. Nice little surface find. Rang up identical to a tw 22. Right. I like this. This is a hard target to hit because there's all sorts of crap here. Ninety-one. No iron mixed in with a signal that I can hear. Got a little bit of depth to it. Nice, nice soft ground though. Okay, it's right here. I'm gonna come, hopefully like this, pop. I'm gonna take you off and bring you down in there. You see that? We got ourselves a coin. Nice. Definitely a coin. We found the, the rock wall here. I just kind of switched over to the iron sifting program because there's some barb in it. it definitely does a better job of uh, sorting that out. Looks like we have a button maybe here. You sure do. Sure do. This is a two piece, possibly a military button if I'm very delicate. Maybe we'll see. We'll have to wait to clean this up when I get home. But it could be, uh, I see stars around the outside. So this is most likely going to be a New York militia button, Civil War era. Sweet. All right, Gino's got himself a signal of the golden mask with that big coil. Let's see if it's anything. Yeah. Computer button. Yeah. Sure is. Want me to grab it for you? I don't even see it anymore. I just saw it. Real gentle with it. No, I don't know if it's. That's not too good. Yeah, it is. It's got something on it. That'd be sick. The golden mask, though. Wow. Yeah. The first target. Not many targets here. Maybe a floral design or something. Sweet find, man. Thanks. There you go. All right, gang, let's wrap up the hunt with the big coils. We did hit some big, deep targets. I mean, this crotobell fragment, that was pretty deep. That was like almost two feet hitting that thing. Pretty sure this is a uh, juice harp. You can see the two prongs there. Got that deep shoe buckle frame with Mike. Then we got onto this 1825 uh, large scent. Some good detail on that coin. Still a lot of neat surface on the back of that. This copper here, as you can see, it says INDE on it, which makes it a Connecticut copper. Back is really wiped. Can't really see much on there. This 1859 Indian head penny, and you could tell it's an 1859 even though the date's shot because the lack of shield on this side. Little flat button, not sure on this button. This one here came out pretty neat. Neat little button. 
Uh, some other bits and bobs. And then the uh, my favorite find of the hunt, this New York Excelsior cuff button. Came out really nice. The back mark dates this to about 1860. So Civil War era New York militia cuff button. Very happy to have it. And I hope you enjoyed the finds. And uh, remember, guys, pick up all those shallow targets and run some deep coils or some big coils to hunt deep. And uh, you never know what you're going to find. And if you did enjoy this, please remember to like, comment, or subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.